Yeah, I'm recording. We're in this game again, and we're doing stuff. I left the game running yesterday. Uh, that built itself. Uh, the stone smelter built itself. Just magically. This is the build that I came up with. This is, again, just a cut-down version of that. That's so it's nothing dramatic. It's the same theory as the... the smelters. It's just... There's not really much to talk about. It's... Uh, what is it? It's... 8. Whoops. That was W, not Q. It's two lots of eights, so there's 16 total, and it's designed to eat a full belt. I think it's actually 7.4 or something, but I just made it eat a full belt. Delish coffee. The reason I did that, had to do that was because uh, this stone patch had run out and there wasn't any other supply of brick. And I need the brick to make the furnaces and generally keep things moving. Kind of important. I also have another package, something, something extra special uh, to do later. Uh, but for now, we get out there. Also just generally moved around the mines, like copper one here is gone. Uh, it's found its way, I think, down here, some, yeah, down here now. So I just generally kept those going. I don't think there was anything else. Probably, I'll probably move some of these. Yeah, I think I moved that. Just generally let the wheels turn. Oh, uh, and I had to turn this on too. Uh, that's not good. Probably just needs collection. Yeah, so steel smelt is actually running now too. Again, because it needed the production to keep things rolling. Because the steel had run out. I know I kind of missed out on turning it on, but... Yeah, we're not, it's, it's not the full turn on, at least. Alright. So the thing we wanted to start on doing is finishing these up. Oop. First thing I want to do is start these up. Or well, get these done, then we can start them up. So I wanted to finish, like, blue off. And then... Uh, we can start adding all the output tracks to, 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 to connect these trains to it. And then those trains can do their things and stuff and junk. They actually fill up. Uh, Neil, first things first. Just take three things in and output one. Output on generally. It doesn't matter. It's generally on the right side. I go on left to right. But not exclusively. So... We shall do the thing with the stuff and the junk. Uh, what did you need? Throw two things that are delivered and one which is made locally. Okay. Follow-up question to that is... Two engines... Uh, three circus, two engines. Uh, so I'm going to go straight back to this thing. Uh, there it is, so we have 28, uh, 2, and 3 is most definitely more than a red belt. 2 is almost a red belt, which means I can feed it a red belt. And that is definitely over a red belt. Okay, because I'm going to need to do some weaving again. Yes, yeah, know how much I like weaving. It's basically going to be the same as this. Like that. Tell you what, something I've been enjoying uh, yesterday was... I mentioned it a few times I was going to get it, and I finally did. Ion Fury. Fun game. Nice little, very classic shooter. It's a modern game, but follows a very classic shooter style, which you don't get anymore. Damn thing's made in the build engine, which is even more remarkable. That someone would actually make a build game in these, in these days. It does mean that it has all of the uh, uniqueness and jank that a build engine has, but the build engine was always... Uh, it was janky, but it was always janky in a nice kind of way, not in a this-is-a-low-quality-product kind of way. It had a unique charm to it. 
not like um, those uh, simulator games, you know, where they're just janky because they're a minimum viable product. Whereas this was janky because uh, that was the, the style of the time. That was the best you could get at the time. So yeah, that's been fun. I might play, uh, play some more of that during the week. Maybe I'll s that's the sort of thing that was good for the evenings. Uh, evenings here. Need to do more of it. Been a while since I had to uh, use that time slot. There's a lot of references to Blood and uh, Duke in it as well. Save on Undergrounds, because Underground Supply is a little bit of an issue. Go. Alright, there's our three products going in. Those out of the way. Red belt mishap? Uh oh, oh yeah, you're right. Uh, that's not good. There's a, yeah, I would have copied a few times. Uh, looks right, Neil. I think. I hope. If not, too late. Uh oh, that's only six. Oh. <laughs> that was lucky. I was like, that's only seven. Thankfully, I was just missing one. And I hadn't miscounted these things or something. Stupid. There we go. So the next step is I need to make engines. Uh, what, I, what I wanted to do was make the engines underneath. Uh, that's circuits. Circuits has to be a full belt, I think. Or was it three? It can be a half belt. It's tempting to actually use a half belt just because... Just because, like, I can, really. Might as well save on lanes. Better for game performance, because this thing's going to die when I start it up. Another thing I've been trying to get my head around is this, this try, I'm trying to catch up on the... Yesterday I was trying to catch up, well last night specifically, I was trying to catch up on what's been going on with the 3080s and the whole capacitor thing. Seems to be a lot of people talking about regurgitating a lot of ideas they have no idea what they're talking about. A lot of, a lot of regurgitated and generally terrible information going around. Which, uh... Isn't isn't really helping anything. Hey, hello, Uh People just want to know stuff. Classic, isn't it? God damn it! Not again. allergic to playing. It's just cringy seeing them say POSCAP, even though that's not really anything. Be free! Come on in with a follow. Yeah, it just... Uh, it's painful. It looks like, from what I can understand, it looks like Nvidia screwed up. On the design, they make the design is is just very marginal. 
It's not like partners cheaping out. Well, they cheaped out, but it's still NVIDIA's design, ultimately. Uh, I want insert a majigs. I don't have insert a majigs. That's mildly inconvenient. The dark coupon. Uh, let's see. We need to make some electric and regular engines. I need to pipe. I also need to know how many of these things I need. And to do that, you know what that means. I'm gonna go back to this thing. Uh, 5.5. .5. Rough time is 10. Productivity is 1.4. And we need that many of them. Uh, 17? 18? Uh, 17. Hmm. Trouble is this thinking about it, it's people like um Jay's two cents that kinda kinda kill it. I watched a bit of his video and he just started waffling. Hey Norman, how you doing? Uh seven eighty five, so seventeen. That's actually ten, wasn't it? It used to be twenty. Uh, the, the engines. Six, nine, twelve, fifteen, seventeen. I can count. Who knew? I need to catch up on all the actually hardware overclocking videos on the topic. I think that's where the someone who actually knows what they're talking about is where is where to go. All right. Uh Oh, also, sadly, it looks like there won't be any Among Us today. But we'll see how we go. Maybe Pionka Jonk might uh, want to do something. Uh, huh. Gonna have to be the same sort of dealio. That means you get more of this, this crap. Me forever building these. Oh, I needed that. Okay. Forever building these stupid things. I mean, it is my fault for for deciding to build an eight thousand science a minute mega base in this game. I'm definitely not starting to have regrets of deciding to do it or anything. Definitely not. Everything... <laughs> uh. Okay. Which longness is this? This is almost getting to be as long as the control units. Problem now is I've got to wait for everything to get supplied. At least the production capacity is there. What I might do is just demand more. There. Give me all your things, damn it. Alright, 
going after this. Oh, things need fuel. I need to get the fuel off that. I need to get the fuel off that thing. Off that train. It spends a lot of time supplying fuel. What I should actually do is have the Factorio lab up, and then I could actually see where everything goes. Uh, if it shows up. Ooh. I think the window's lost position. It has. Lost a lot of things, actually. It's amazing, it actually... Uh, uh, <laughs> that it uh, is still pretty close. I need, still need, I need to do the Windows update. The win it's starting to demand uh, that I update. Like, the, the icon's been there for a few days now. Now it's actually... Say, uh, begging for a time. It's, it's now started politely asking for a time to update. And I ignored it and it's gone away for now. But it's it's gonna keep it's gonna come back. So five. Eight software updates? So do I. And twelve. Okay. What happens? We just do that. It goes down to nine. So when that tells me, I need 8 of these, so I need um, these divided by 8, so I need 2 pipes per thingy. This is only 5, therefore I can do 1 per thingy, so I need 3 assembly machines total, 2 for pipe, 1 for gears. That's what it's telling me. Must be getting old. I think so. Yeah, like that. Oh, we don't want to do that. We don't want those connected. Uh, it's going to end badly if we join that network. Oh yeah, game updates slightly different to like software which auto updates. Generally, it's a lot more annoying. Uh... <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not wrong. Can't argue with that. Okay. But actually, 17. 17. I actually. Eh. Fix that. Uh, one, two. Then I need to slip in the plate. Probably two lanes of plate. I suspect. Find out if I actually read the thing. Uh, let's see. Pipe needs 3.6 built of plate. Okay, so it needs one. I might get away with one then. One of each. And gears is a lot less, so... Maybe I will get away with one. I'll start with one and see what happens. I'll start with the coffee first. And nothing much changes. Big old pipe. Hmm. Alright, gonna move it down the tile. In.
All time gamer. There's a whole red circuit thing about. It's a collaborative playthrough we're doing. So the stream team that I'm part of is Red Circuit, which is all the other guys, Apollos and so on. And we wanted to do a Crestorio playthrough together. Admittedly, I did a probably did a slightly lousy effort of promoting it on my part. But it's been been a bit chaotic with everything else going on. But yeah, so it's a collaborative playthrough we're doing. Uh, maybe. So, yep. So yeah, we're doing the. I'm going to be going back to that tomorrow. I'm going to be continuing that tomorrow. Um, the Crash Zero play. So the idea is we're all playing this map together. Or that map together. We're all on different surfaces, but we're all working towards the one goal. The goal is basically... Or the one goal is more or less to, to bombard JD's planet. Uh, sweet kids. Oh, wait. <laughs> More iron plate. That is sulfur. Engines. I'm not actually delivering engines. Then I need steel. Uh, these things. Not those things. These things. Because the engines need iron plate and steel. Basically just giant iron sinks. So yeah, it's um, just a collaborative playthrough. Ah, uh, should do it. Although I could probably stand to put the steel on the red belt. Like, I'm pretty sure... I go to Factorio Lab. It's like 5,000... 9,000, so it's a bit over one. Oh, actually... Okay, then. I think I do need to switch it. That one actually does go there, and then this one... Uh oh Ah. Oh. Reach it does just barely. And it needs to switch. Like that. I might even need two inserters on output inserters on that as well, which is a potential for problems. Might even be, might even need to pre-do that. Not sure. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, well, either way, that's that's our blues done. Means. means it's time to put it into practice. Transport built in the way, eh? Ah, uh, that's what it'll be. It's that. Red, how you doing? Three. Bad tree. Blurp. Oh, you actually have power. That's why it's complaining. Something else is complaining about being full. You again. That's slightly concerning. Oh. There we go. <laughs> I've been filling the network up with bricks. That's... that's not good. Not good at all. Hey, look at me, yeah, how am I? I'm doing pretty good. I switched up on you. Ah, uh, drink up as well. Also, hello. Hooray, blues! That's actually enough to do science now. I mean, if, I'll, if they're all plugged in. Coffee time? Always coffee time. So while that's happening, I'll let that build. Uh, let's come back over here and make a start on the outputs. Yeah. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. How many cypher men is this build set? This is eight thousand science a minute. Just just one or two science a minute. Ooh, you're gonna get a little tight. Yes, this thing you this entire thing. Is eight thousand science a minute. So this is our our individual packs, and then rockets over here. I might not have enough space. See, I was assuming that I could just lay these flats. Apparently, that was a wasn't a good idea. By the video, where you place the ME circuit network. Well, that was a little while ago. I could lay it. Like that, and then it comes across and up. Up there, trains come in, trains go out. Um, 
out and into that. Playing more than watching? That's fine. I mean, at least, at least the VODs are there to catch up in your own time. I actually saw there was a comment that I was a bit harsh, it was harsh on... I haven't replied to it yet, it was, <laughs> it was over a day ago now, I think. Um, it was a bit harsh on the 2 to 3, and I realised one, the, probably the, the the most important thing that I, I completely blanked down on saying is that I've done so many... Well, there's a few things going on. There's two things going on. First one was that when I first started, the prevailing wisdom was you build a 3 to 2 circuit build. And, like, that was just the thing you do. You do 3 to 2, and then that's it. Like, it was it was the law. And you were a heathen if you didn't build a 3 to 2. And I know from building so many 3 to 2s that it's a pain in the ass to build them. And then when, as soon as you unlock modules, you want to put productivities in them to get free circuits, because free circuits is free circuits. And then that ruins the 3 to 2. And laziness says it's easy to build a 1 to 1, so that's why, that's why I don't build 3 to 2s anymore. And that's also why I have a bit of a, a disdain for them, because it used to be this thing which thou shall build 3 to 2. Dark bad, hello. Okay, paste some thingies and stuff. Ooh, have multiple trains arriving too. Hmm. Got a couple of high traffic train stations that cause temporary deadlock. Or one fours. Ooh, yeah, they they're a little sluggish. Pretty much anything with only one loco is a bit sluggish. You know what I could do? Just have all of them go through here. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. All six just go down here. <laughs> like that. This is gridlock four lane system, but next time I think I use two lane. Like it better? Which one's the f gridlock four lane? I, I legitimately don't pay attention to those anymore. Transcontinental stacker. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the thing that I'm seeing that's a problem. One, two, three, four, six. So one, two, three, four, five. So this is number six. And boop. And that was also six. Counting to sixes. Counting to sixes. Uh, you. I'm playing with the idea of mega trains for your current 12256. Uh, so big, it's hilarious. Placing junctions close, which I yeah, probably caused it. Yeah, uh, close junctions are a problem. A lot of little trains also cause problems too. Just having them skating around, skidding around. Yeah, 256 is... It, it's a... it's... Take some work to deal with it. I think I had like a, a 200... Oh, it was only like a 100 wagon one. And... 
It was more just to see how far it would go before it burned through all the fuel. I think it only got like 50 tiles. It didn't actually go very far. How am I doing today? I'm doing alright. Reasonably awake for a change. It's a nice cold Monday morning here. As it is in almost October, because it hasn't quite started heating up. October is the point where it starts heating up here. So the pain <laughs> the the pain of the heat is gonna start is gonna begin soon. Eighty-four. That's uh, like mid thirties. It's five here, which is I don't know. I think that's about forty. Uh, as a, a rough guess. It's really cold. Can do. Hi. Sure, you're connecting the outputs. I'm positively sure I'm plugging the outputs into the outputs, and definitely not plugging them into the inputs. <laughs> Um, next question, moving swiftly along. <laughs> oh dear. I got, an I got a better idea. They're all in line. So there's nothing stopping me from just picking the whole lot up and moving them over. Yeah, it's it's gold right now. I don't like I don't like it this cold. I wouldn't notice when the system started. Oh, that would be the worst if I didn't notice it all the way through. Because I'd have to reset the productivities on everything. So I'd have to pick up everything, probably destroy a ton of materials. All as well. Right, that's there now. That thing in me goes over there on Majigami. So strange to hear October is when it starts heating up. I say it's so strange to I say it's strange for October to be cooling down, but that is actually also possible here. Because September, normally September, October, November is when the weather goes really strange. You get a mixture of hot days and then really cold. Like, particularly at this time, yeah, September, September is usually really... You can get just snap rainstorms, like step, snap mega rainstorms. Same with October. It's sort of like the springtime thing that happens. Uh, I just hit F12. Apparently. And cap. Oh, it's, just, it's all going wrong. And I see uh, screen, a picture of the map as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, th those are some close junctions. I mean. Looks pretty cool overall. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, that's that's the junctions there where the short that where it falls short. A lot of really close stuff. Oh, those are the 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 rail blueprints are the ones with the really big junctions. Um, that's what it looks like. Yeah, it says, uh, particularly, uh, if I zoom, right, zoom it in hands. Oh, that's big as it goes. Zoom it in hands. Yeah, see, like these, it's right, they're right on top of each other. That's, uh, like, yeah, there too. There's a lot of them right on each other. Which, which isn't ideal. 
I mean, admittedly, most of the time you can get away with it because the train traffic is not that big. Like, it's not not great. You don't, you don't actually... <laughs> the biggest, biggest where I'm pointing. Funny that. Yeah, at the same time, like, depends on the busy how busy it is, because sometimes you can get away with it, because Factorio trains don't, for the most part, don't get that busy. It's not until you do really crazy stuff that you start running into problems. It's not like Transport Tycoon, where you can just flood enormous volumes of trains. Yeah, there too would be a bit problematic. Main copper plate product. Wee! Run away from me. Uh, yeah, that'd do it. That'd be a very busy one. Hmm. And the cross junctions as well don't help. Putting some thought into... Um... Like, where the trains come in and out does help with the congestion. It's something that I'm having to think about here. Like, I'm... I'm, I'm trying to. I'm going to try and make it so that the, all the ore trains are on the bottom, and then all the plate trains are on the top of the smelting here. So they'll come up. They'll probably come up the middle, and I don't know. I was thinking about it before, and I have them pointing down, but I might. I started pointing them up, and mm, see how we go. See how we go. I might need to find a way to get them, like, right round or something. Trouble is then, they sort of, I might need to, like, to, to make it sit right with the left-hand drive, then come across and then up, then, oh, then they cross, actually. Damn it. Hmm. And we'll figure it out when we get there. Like the two-track system, next time build something to start uh, straight from that. Reducing rules of frequency. Yeah, that that's uh, another good point. Yeah, my two lane system was designed around squeezing exactly uh, four wagons or four train components. I guess you could call them in between each signal block, which means you can, as long as the trains are four long, multiples of four, that means that they fit very tightly together. That's another transport tycoon principle. Have them um, tightly packed like that. This is where I start running into problems. Now it's starting to, it's starting to get some extreme overhang. I think I'm going to have to rotate them. Uh, I can do that. I don't think it's going to... I don't think it's going to work like the way I was hoping. Six, six... Let's try that. They have to mix... They sort of have to mix with the... Uh, trains for the rockets. But it's not too bad, because it's only like... Um, rocket fuel and... And rocket fuel, I think. And whatever for the satellites. I think that's it. Ah. 
That would behoove me to use that one. It's an odd word, that one. Behoove. Don't actually know what it means. Just I suppose that uh, there's a few YouTubers that like to use it. Oov. Oh. This circuit here, what it, it's uh, the same that we've seen many times before. It's a um, averaging balancer thing. So it takes the average of all of these chests and then takes it, divides it between um, the individual. And that means if I get rid of that. That means one chest won't fill up too much. You know what? <laughs> it, just, it just occurred to me. That should be across the whole... Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's right. It should be across each individual, not across the whole lot. Never mind. Oh, it's a spellmaster. How you doing? I mean, hello, spellmaster. Probabilities is what you're doing. Yeah, uh, probabilities. Probabilities isn't fun. Let's delete the old stuff first. It's an advantage for a combinator for each group rather than the whole lot. It needs to be for each individual because each individual is um, its own separate entity. or well, it's its own independent um, thingy. Uh, yes, technical terms. So we're only averaging across each build, not the whole lot. Because I'm not balancing across all eight, it means each one, each... Uh, acts independently. In theory, I don't, shouldn't need to. In theory. In practice, I suspect that's not the case. Dwindling mines, for example, oh, one cart is always waiting. Oh, in, in, that in mining, when you're mining, then that's slightly different to this arrangement. This one, it, it, so the reason why I've done eight is each one of these represents one wagon. So um, the idea of this space is to eliminate splitters with balanced, pre-balanced across each wagon already. So the theory is. Uh, if we go to a mine that's actually active there. So what we're doing right here is we're balancing across all 16, well, 2 by 8 wagons here. So the balancing is done here, and then the theory is that you never need to balance again. So, I mean, yeah, we got that there, but that's because this, this entire thing isn't balanced. Should be pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty close to empty anyway. Uh, so, the balanced wagons come to here. They get smelted, turned into uh, 16 belts, and then it gets split off into two eights. 
And so the balance wagons then leave here. They go to the next step. Um, this train actually loops around. This is a circuit train. So it's grabbed the copper and then it grabs the iron. <laughs> In between, out and everywhere. So yeah, it's picked up copper, now it's picking up iron. Same thing with the iron, there's 16 belts in, they're split into two eights, and then it goes off to circuits. So each wagon is, its own, is individually balanced. Each wagon is one-to-one -one right the way through the, the entire chain. Hopefully we can catch up with one that's just coming in. So there's one that's already coming in, does the unload, and the copper and iron split out into lanes. Uh, that's actually going into red circuits, which is slightly different, but into green circuits, so it's split up into uh, eight banks vertically. So one, two, three, four, five, but they're in pairs, six, seven, then eight. And then the eight iron and copper but effectively comes out and goes in. The eight iron and copper, which has been turned into circuits, then goes into another wagon, so it's still in the, still in the same line. And then, yeah, it just continues its way along all the way through. Same with the red circuit. See, each column is its own wagon. Oh, that's... that's not good. Ooh. That's really not good. Ah, uh, we got spares anyway. And yeah, so that's going to carry on right the way through. Ah. It is. It's asking for it. Oh, train's right here. Combinators? Modules? Oh, it's not asking for fuel. Oh, it has fuel. Its own network? Yeah, uh, it's on its own network, that's why. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Had to be something obvious. Had to be something stupidly obvious. Or uh, output. You're an output, and you're an output. Everyone's an output. Oh, it's off by a tile. That one isn't. Okay. I don't look right there. Oh, I know why. It's because red is the super duper compact one. Two, six, eight. Definitely eight. Definitely eight. Any idea what will happen after you reach HK mark? Scale up more, new game, different game? I don't know. I'll probably certainly go through a period of trying to make it sustain it. I kind of don't like having those long belts though. I might see what I can optimize further. Uh, among other things. Alright, I was kind of ignoring it, but... Oh, look at that. There's a thought. 
I was trying to figure out how to put it on the bottom, but I was like, why did I just why did I scratch it and reverse it and do it on top? Like that. I put onto a logy chair, so using boats. That it, yeah, that would be too UPS inefficient. Um, oh, need a stretch already. It's it, doing bots like that gives you the burst, going from bills to bots to jump the gap gives you the worst of both worlds. Generally, you want to do one or the other. You don't want to do both. I might move that. You have to pick that and move, pick that up and move it down. After all that trouble of, of um, setting it up. Uh, they're all load named more or less the same. I also need to keep each row separate from each other. I can't mix the rows. That's uh, the other. Da that's the downside to this system. If balancing once at the very beginning means I can't balance ever again. Everything has to be perfectly consistent all the way through. Which is a surprising pain. It is a surprising hassle to keep everything consistent all the way through. After all that trouble I went through, I have to reverse this thing. Pretty sure this only works in one orientation as well. It doesn't work in that orientation. That's big of a mess as it was before. Big happy miss. Happy accident. <laughs> At least the bells don't cross now.
Right, I think we've um, manipulated this backwards and forwards enough times for it to actually for it to, to be a workable solution. Workable. It's my, it's, the, it's my indirect way of saying I'm sick of moving it backwards and forwards. I'm moving on now. <laughs> Right, you can move to there, so we can pick that up, slide it down, uh, as before, or whatever. Still complaining about space? Yes. Oh, did you finish? Yeah, you make, finished making shells, that's why. We need some range, artillery range going, then we, we can just shell some biters to get rid of some materials. Uh, I didn't want them crossing. I suppose I could flick it round, uh, half of these. Like, that's could be flicked around to. Oh, it still doesn't really help it. One, two, three, four. So the center's there. Oh, maybe uh, here. Work. Pick the whole thing up again. <laughs> and slide it to about there. Okay, I think I think I've reached a point where I have something that's that's usable. I could also still switch it, but I'm not going to. Straight. Even better. Ooh, rubbing extra close. Ooh, he said rubbing. Ooh. <laughs> oh, the heist begin. Uh, hmm. Uh, 
I mean, move the track. Three overall. Just one slightly off some station, just to drive everyone slightly insane. It's the one substation that just won't obey any of the... It's a rebel substation, it won't obey any of the rules. Better. Let's pop one in there. There we go. Uh, here we go. Hey, you managed to sneak in and do a solo where normally people doing solos get their skulls drummed. Good job. It's like the hardest challenge ever, getting and not getting avoiding getting the skull your skull drummed. <laughs> you got out with your head still intact. Bam. I guess. Probably wouldn't hurt to slide the substations up a little bit. I'm not going to. Move the robo pause down so you can remove the row I added. Nice laser. Uh, all I did was just add these so in line. The problem is this beacon doesn't get powered. Could actually move them up slightly too. Oh, that sounds complicated. things I could do, and then instead I could also just move on. Egg nabbit. <laughs> of course. Figures. There'd be um, this in the way. There'd be something like this in the way.
now what I need to do is lift everything else up to make it fit that. Because reasons. Well, at least the boss can do it uh, in a reasonably quick amount of time. I guess that gives room for all this crap, though. It also serves me right for not starting over there like I should have. It should relatively all line up pretty much straight away. Right. Uh, jelly beans, space, jelly beans. Yellow jelly beans. Jelly beans. Purple jelly bean, and then uh, licorice, which no one wants. Because if you have licorice jelly beans, you're a heathen. Licorice anything, really, you're a heathen. Actually, in saying that, there is licorice, which... Borderline tolerable, and then there's emaseed, which is just... That is just vile. Dark Knight licorice, and there's Dutch licorice. Dutch have strange tastes. <laughs> I've got to lie. It's one thing I'll never understand. Yes, there's some strange tastes going on there. I realise that there's quite a few Dutch people here. Some do. Some Some weird savages like licorice. Isn't that the can like the cans of the really rotten fish also a Dutch thing, or is that um more like a Swedish thing? I 
that doesn't line up with anything that I have. That does, amazingly. Can confirm Swedish. Yeah, no one, no one would 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 want to claim responsibility for that. Under attack again. That's starting to see fairly regular attacks. That's slightly concerning. I think I should also do is plug these in. Was enjoy his foster. That's how the trust of opinions. Yeah, it's true. There, there are. Um, there are some some deviants that like fosters. Although, as far as I'm aware, it's an export only. I've never actually seen fosters in decades now. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure it doesn't actually. It might exist in some other states, but I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's the beer. It used to be somewhat of a household name, but it sort of disappeared. Only seen it overseas. I think it's owned by. Uh, I think it was it was bought out and then ex uh, became an export only. Or it's just made somewhere else. And to be fair, no one drank it. I don't re really remember anyone drinking it when, it when it was a thing. Lord. Did one of the undergrounds on the blue not link? That's undergrounds, alright. I need to check purple as well, anyway, or and military. Uh, this one did connect. Oh no, purple was right. Yeah, military needs a bit of wrangling. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And there's an argument that says that I could just not use the undergrounds at that point. Funny how there's a one tile gap between them. Two tile gap. Nope, they're all jank. Did I place it off by a tile or something? Probably. Anyway, that should be right. Uh, green, I think, was good. Yeah, it's good. US commercials that started Foster's Australian for beer. Was that where that came from? Hmm. I'm tempted to delete this patch. Trouble is, I want to do the similar sort of thing, running stuff in, but I don't know how I'm going to achieve that. I don't think it's possible somehow. Oh, I think it's these. I mean, I can do the copper and iron thing. Um, I probably should have spaced these out more realistically.
Uh, what's this one? Iron and circuits. The other thing too is I need to figure out the actual ratio that goes into them. I could just run them all the way along here, find whatever's longest, add, add space, and just run it down. Coffee time. Entertainment time, sit back and sip and watch the entertainment fly. Sounds good, like just stick that there. And then, see what happens. I mean, this is going to be hilarious either way. Uh, having a pre-burnt forest is handy. So yeah, you'd have something like that. Kind of awkward how it's set by uh, that. These ones, there's more room to play. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, four. One here, one up. Just realize, cap key. Ah. Uh, one, two, three, four. Down there. In theory. They run so close together. Hmm. <laughs> Skull got drummed. Conditions, right? Hard part's finding this, this, trying to spot the center. Every time. One, two, three, four. Actually, in saying that. The touches the the fourth one touches the middle of the beacon. That 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 makes it a lot easier. Like this one here. What's that? Steel, iron, sulfur, circuits, a four total. This one I think could be... Uh, four separate ones. Oh. 
Alright, now I've got the general position of them, it's time to turn these around. I think the conclusion is I need to space them out more. <laughs> I have no track, I have no track. That's gonna be a huge move. Um, well that's, while I'm waiting for stuff, what are you waiting on? You're still waiting on furnaces amazingly. I might be in trouble because I started doing it in two spots at once, and so now I've got to build it over the top of the existing... See, I've got like robot ports in there. Yeah, that's... I think I'm going to have to tear all that up and start over. Maybe not tear it all up, I'll do it in, in sections. And move the robot ports down as it gets built. It's actually a pain to fix all that. Oh, I'm so close to getting it going too. Million dollar question, what do you think? I, I'm expecting around 30 UPS, in all honesty. <laughs> I'm, I've got, I'm, I'm aiming low. I mean, it's not a very hyper-optimized base. I mean, it's better than average for me, for optimization, but it's... Uh, it's... Uh, it's not as piper optimized as like the 20k bases. Also, that's about what the. Oh, maybe 40. Well, let's say 40. Because the um, 12k base ran at about 40 to 50. It also did use mini loaders and a lot of splitters. A lot, a lot of splitters. I wonder how we go with this whole buy eight stuff. If this is a, if this is fifty to sixty, I'll be impressed. That means there's room for improvement if it's fifty to sixty. Mid loaders be bad, bad. Yeah, well they're two inserters internally. Couldn't be much worse if you tried. Yeah, 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 look at that. I mean, I'm also trying to push towards single-headed trains in this one as well. Uh, a lot of the double-headed stuff needs to go. How are you again? Thousand plastic, ten thousand explosives. I realised I overloaded it with brick and all, but god dang. We'll fix planes. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, 41k fish? It probably did. Yeah, it says 41k fish. <laughs> I mean, I mean we, we, we've been doing some pretty good work there on the fish department. That plane finally took off, bound for Calgary. Oh, nice. Things are moving. Does that mean things are starting to happen again? Th 
three and a half hours late. Ooh. Yeah, so it needs to squeeze. I need that much space in between. Also means I need to get rid of that. Slide that there. Let's start with this, our return line. Let's get these spacing right. I suppose if I really, really, really wanted to, to get it right, I'd do that there, all the way across. I might make that its own thing. I don't know how busy this line's going to get. It could get very busy. So I'm tempted to leave it as tempted to leave it la room for four lanes. In fact, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, save the fish by sticking them in a dry box. I mean, it makes perfect sense, really. I could just liberate um, this network's materials. Thank you, but... Yeah, and this is where the patch gets in the way. Mind you, this is still not the complete story. I need the patch? Not really. I was kind of hoping I'd get at least some utility out of it. Build over it's sacrilege. Uh, 
not not wrong. I'm slightly concerned that that's still lighting up. Uh, how? I have that many chests then. Uh, hmm. I have a feeling there's just so much in in the air right now. There's yeah, there's like three thousand items, potentially nine thousand items in the air right now. Yeah, someone broke the stone br broke the stone brick uh, supply. Concrete the world problem. Yeah, yeah, it's all stone brick. <laughs> Oh, there's still more stone brick in <laughs> Hey train, calm down. I mean it's sitting there waiting, but I I think because there were bots holding onto things it was starting to add more stuff because it doesn't count as in the network and then yeah, it just went downhill from there. I mean it will sort itself out eventually. Bot Bedlam. Don't think I need that. I mean, this this t curve down isn't really a thing anyway. How's the biter situation? The biters are teasing the radar over here occasionally because the pollution from the make everything in this general area is pushing out here. Uh, oh, we're hitting biters down there now. Um, there's definitely a, 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 a potential for problems there. This is still a void, but the, the, I like how the pollution's now merged. The pollution from the different sections has, has merged, definitely. Which is actually impressive, considering I'm still not really doing anything. Uh, I've redone these. Redo these so we can realign the science builds and make it possible to get trains in. It's a manual destruction. Let's turn a massive plateau into into a flat plateau into a flat ground fairly significant earthworks to do that I guess the game the game doesn't distinguish contours so it could still be contoured do I usually bottle my mines yeah generally uh, there is and there is this thing as well that I've been meaning to play around with which I think was developed a little while ago on Colonel Will's play one of Colonel Will's playthroughs. Finally going to make all outputs to fuel you want to be being waste. What do you find most effective for train size? Generally um four wagons is sort of my basic go to. Um for anything once you get beyond about a thousand signs a minute you start looking into eight. Eight wagons. By about four thousand you're looking at sixteen. Yeah mine 16 is... 416 is starting to get a little... big. Um, <laughs> but yeah, 4 or 8, depending on what you're going for, is generally a safe size. Multiples of 4 are nice as well with belts. Read a Matthew thing that says, for throughput, the longer the train, the better for longer transit. That is correct, yes. Also, hi, Colonel Will. Sixteen gives me big junctions. Uh, it gives you it's not so much big junctions. It's just big unloads and loads. Doing it all wrong, if you say so. 
Fire damper and maternal and will. I mean, when you say doing it all wrong, I mean, yeah, I need to pick up and move all these science builds. They're all wrong. So I guess there's that. Needs more faster. Oh, I thought. I would have thought that um, 8,000 signs a minute would have been adequately more fasted, but there you go. Alright, let's pick it up and move it. <laughs> yes, it needs to be picked up and moved. Hello, everyone. How how was the was the stream? I didn't get to see what you're on to. We're doing base of despair again by chance. What's? Oh boy. Oh, they're gonna regret life. Probably they've got to now eyeball where the middle is. Oh, the signs of... Hi, late. I'm a koala. Let's just measure it out with a robot then. One, two, three, four, five. Right, so red goes there. I should have sent this away first. Hi, train. Right, let's rebuild this thing first, or uh, we run into too many problems. Hey, using a rocket launch update plan, ULA Delta IV Heavy in four hours once again has been delayed. Again? Uh, the 29th. There we go. Right, that's number one moved. I'm gonna stand back now. I think it's gonna sustain itself. I think that's everything. Hopefully the bots should be able to deal with everything else. I also realise that this is now off-grid. I suppose I should probably fix that. Pose. Some of them are more tolerant than others of varying launch conditions. Some of them are very need very specific conditions. And they really need conditions to be ideal.
Bob has the sniffles. We're postponing for three days until he recovers. Can they? Hey, they pulled the chest. Excellent. If they can at least get the chest, then it's all right. Yeah, then green's got to line up with that, then blue, military, purple, uh, effort. You know, it's funny when the, the, the construction bots go to the trouble of moving uh, the chests, <laughs> but don't um, but don't uh, place it down. Or they throw <laughs> throw the um, the trash chests in the trash. <laughs> There's, that's another good one. Yeah, uh, the crest door I go, the other night, so we alive, but it was too late. Uh, it was a pretty good start. I didn't get too far in. I'm, I'm going back to that tomorrow. Uh, that's still ongoing. All right, next one. Two this time. Two beacons to tell me where that where it is. I'm gonna turn that off. Cut. Right about there. Should be it. Oh. I might do, yeah, I'll connect the networks together up top. No reason why I can't do that. And get this whole thing linked up and then start deconstructing. Moving.
cancel that because the stupid patch is in the way. Can't tell where the thing's supposed to go. Damn screen. <laughs> this thing's enormous. Also, that's lowering me below 30 UPS right there. Same. In like that. So the the other beacon. Yeah, it's the same. The this beacon one further out should have been against the rail. Fictitious rail. It's forever one off. Yeah, the one off is O. Oh. oh wait, that one's wider, that's why. Okay, I think I need to actually build those robo ports. Probably help the cause. You know what would be a good idea is actually planning this out, planning out the, getting the trains in from the very beginning. That would have actually been a good idea. This is more fun for watch me suffer. It wouldn't be one of my builds if there wasn't some horrific error in it somewhere. What a predict I need to get stuff? Who knew that I would need to supply these things? Who didn't who's who would who would have thought? I actually thought these were wider than they were going to be too. If they were full beacon builds, it would have been fine. Mind you, I think I've actually given myself room to switch these to full beacon, inadvertently. Actually, these are, I think, the same space regardless.
I mean, we're getting some getting there pretty quickly. Things are happening fairly fast. At least, yeah, at least all the materials are already here to actually build it. Assuming it's not dumping them all. I don't think it is. Apart from the... <laughs> it's dumping its own supply system. That's the only thing it's dumping. And you wouldn't want the thing dumping its own supply system now, would you? Hey, my boss, they are. I should probably go say hi to the biders while it sorts it out. Uh, I was thinking of doing that why, when I get the rest of them lined up. I mean, it would give me time to chew through that. Table all the cap copper patches. I mean, admittedly, this one doesn't look like it's going anywhere anytime soon. Alright, last one. Yeah. There, then four, whoop, one, so blocked, there, one. I feel like I've moved by a tile. Nope, it's fine. There we go. Ah, we go. Now it's just a matter of the bot slowly figuring all that out. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Radar's back. Fine. It's like you're not running out of power or something, if anything. There we go. Should still be like rubber ports and things, yeah, all around here. And so I can keep vision on it. And this patch is 12 million, so it's not going anywhere anytime soon.
Alrighty, what do we got? Has it also lost bots? Probably has. Probably some of them there, stranded in that isolated network. There's also a lot of, um, stuff. I like stuff. It's a time. We're at two hours, so actually now's a good time to break. And then we can go do... i got another little odd job that I want to do. Uh, so while that's going on, uh, we can go do something else. But before that, I'm going to go refill coffee and take a quick break. And then I'll be back in a few minutes' time.